Hey everyone. So I'm gonna do um, another milk paint painting experiment. <laughs> but I thought I'd let you watch me prep my canvas real quick for all my new subscribers. Um, I use painter's tape on the back of my canvases to keep them as clean as possible. Uh, a lot of artists like their messy backs. Um, a lot of customers like messy backs because they love that that artwork on the back as well. Um, I just like them cleaner. So if I decide to resin, um, it's easier for me to um, keep it clean on the bottom and easier to get the drips off as well. I don't have to retape. This tape will stay on until I'm finished with the painting completely. So. And get this one cut get some push pins in I buy the metal push pins because they don't uh, break when I hammer them normally I hammer these in but since I'm doing this on the fly <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna push them in if I cough I'm sorry I'm still sick but I am getting much better we're on week three <laughs> No fun. All right. So now, um, let me get this out of the way. So if you haven't watched the last video, check that out. But what we're doing is the milk paint experiment. Um, I used a bottle of milk paint and I mixed it in this big jug. This equal parts with the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow. So 6.8 ounces of this, 6.8 ounces of this. And I did about 3.4 ounces of, of Liquitex Pouring Medium. And I also did 3.4 ounces, um, I'm sorry, I did two bottles of this um, with Floetrol and then added water to consistency. So that's my mix for that. We're just experimenting with it. Um, I have two more bottles of the milk paint that I'd like to try mixing different to see what uh, different results we might get. But today, we're just doing this mix. So, on my last video, the white took over for sure and I lost a lot of color but it did um, change quite a bit and I will show that Monday night so on this one because this is 12 by 12 I only need about five ounces of paint so I can use a smaller cup but I just want to put a little bit of white in the bottom not a lot and I'll follow that with the peridot Then the indigo blue, and I'm going to put just a tad of milk paint there. The Lucas Gold Bronze, love this color. Just a tad there to separate. I think I'll go back with the blue and the peridot. Peridot is from Folk Art, it's a beautiful beautiful metallic. A little bit of white and I'll end it with some bronze. So this should be plenty of paint for this canvas. I've already got some reactions going on in the cup. And on the last one I poured it the opposite way so let's do the same thing. No base. Now you can straight pour or you can ring pour. I already see I'm getting a lot of white. That's going to be cool too. Alright, well, let me torch those bubbles. We already have stuff going on. So let's go ahead and stretch this out. 
I'm just gonna roll it around first because it is gonna fold over because we don't have a base. I'm gonna go ahead and get this corner here. Got a lot of peridot in this one. It's like the uh, milk paint just eats up that indigo. So it likes the blues for sure. Again with the white, huh? All right, let's stretch this way down here. Maybe we should try it with no white in the bottom, just to see what would happen. I am. I'm gonna take that off because I don't want all that white. And I'm gonna get wonky. Let me push it back so I can straighten out those cells. All right, let's leave this alone for 10 minutes. I'm going to torch it real quick and then I'll bring you back in 10 minutes and you can see what happens. Didn't put much white in that bottom. That's that's not nice. <laughs> we'll see if anything comes up through it. All right, I'll see you in ten. And I'm back. Boy, did this change. <laughs> that middle is nothing but little poofies. Isn't that cool? So this milk paint um, recipe that I'm using is really good. Um, I did not use any glue. A lot of people are putting the glue in um, to avoid cracking. So let's see if this cracks. I did put the Liquitex pouring medium in there. I'm hoping that will keep it from cracking as well as the Floetrol. So I'm really happy with this. Um, I'm going to do one more um, with this mix because I still have some color left. And I probably still have enough for tiles, too. So um, check out all the links below. Um, if these do not crack, we will do a paint mixing video for that milk paint. But I just wanted to see um, today uh, how it's going to react with um, color. And it did very well. I'm very happy with that. So I'm hoping these dry a little darker um, to offset all this pillowy stuff we've got going on in the middle. That cloud effect is amazing, isn't it? So um, join the group on Facebook, The Paraj Posse. Check out my art page on Facebook as well, Christina Welch Art. If you haven't subscribed, click that button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the milk paint. Um, always give us a thumbs up. And uh, check out all the links below. Shop with us on Amazon for all your paint pouring supplies. I will add the milk paint to the shop. And um, we have the pads, the airbrush, all that stuff is on there. So you don't have to look on Amazon by yourself. We try to keep everything there. And also uh, Etsy. And if you're looking for resin, we have the Stone Coat Art Coat Resin Code below. Uh, get you $10 off a $95 order. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and see you on the next one. Bye now.